Relatable. 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 I'm guessing she doesn't have her headphones in. Oh, hold on. I can hear you. Ooh, look at your background. Oh, I, I to, love it. I had to zoom the camera in a bit. Wow. Part of the, the side here. That looks so um, nice. <laughs> what happened? It's a good question. Why are you so sunburned? I'm burning up. Oh my God. Why is it getting so hot in there? You're turning so red. Hey. Real quick, so I'm editing this and I realize that we never did an intro so that you know what you're getting yourself into. This is the Relatable Rodarty podcast with me, Angela, and my brother, Dylan. Enjoy. This is so upsetting. I looked so good. You do look good still. I don't know what happened. Don't sell yourself short. I've got something to share with you to just... Let's start this off. I want to start sharing with you each time my favorite uh tiktok my current favorite tiktok account oh boy all right because like they say on your mom's house now that i watch that one tiktok is for the people yep it's for the people let's see your curated talks you can see it yep you can see it oh yeah i love if this is who Have i think seen? it is okay hold sure. on ready can you hear it Yep, I can hear it now. <laughs> that was my favorite one, the little kids. <laughs> he is my favorite. It's also just like the pitch and the tone is just Hello. spot on. Aaron. To Chen, I can't even say that. A A R O N T yeah, Chenner. To Chenner. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh my God. I haven't seen this one yet. <laughs> I just like that, that they're at Hobby Lobby. Like I can't stop. What's with the dog? I didn't even Bye. notice about it. <laughs> His outfits are just amazing. Uh oh. Oh, I know that game. What is? This? Oh yeah. Are you judging me, bitch? <laughs> I could literally just watch all of these all day. Hello, bitch. <laughs> he is amazing. I those, that heel game on point, too. I wish I was trying to find... yeah, Look at those. Wait, the heels? Yeah. Oh, wait. I haven't seen this one. Oh, wait. <laughs> What? It's so cute. <laughs> no, but there's one where like he's in a car and you think it's like a girl. You're like looking at these legs and it goes up and he's like, eyes up here, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I have to find this really fast. I like this guy is literally just, yeah, my new freaking favorite. Oh, I don't know if I can find it. Oh, come on. Wow, there's so many of them. That's what you do on TikTok. You just got to make content. Oh, this one. Okay, this one is the best. Hey. 
Charlie Brown sweater. Beautiful. Look at me, bitch. <laughs> That's what it is. Look at me, bitch. <laughs> yes. Look at me, bitch. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, let me go back here. Uh, so that's what you get to start start off the day is that that's what I wanted to share. I want to share with you my favorite TikTok account of the week. And that that is it. That well, that's is what you're going to do. You're going to find an account a week. One account a week. We don't want to like oversaturate here. Okay. But he is my favorite right now. <laughs> So we were going to talk today about embarrassing stories or just embarrassing childhood moments, moments, uh, pictures, mm -hmm. all that, all that jazz. So I wanted to see what you dug up before I share with you what I've got. I think we should share one of these a week going into the vault. We'll call it the, the vault of, of embarrassment. The vault of embarrassment. I mean, I have, I have a couple. Most of them involve uh, accidents or things of that nature. <laughs> um, I thought of a good one from childhood that's more embarrassing because I feel bad for my behavior. Oh, gosh. which we'll start yeah, with that were, one. Yeah, because you, you were mean? badly behaved. I remind mom all the time. I was like, I Dylan was, was a bad kid. I was the perfect child. No, it was your, what? It was like your sixth birthday, seventh, maybe. How do you remember that? You were like four? So the reason why is because you invited, you got to have like a party and invite people from, from like kindergarten or first grade that you had met. Mm -hmm. and all the people are over at the house and you were getting presents and getting to hang out and I wasn't allowed to hang out with everybody <laughs> oh, how mean so yeah. is that who me? probably oh I'm sorry no Dylan can't hang out with us yeah no of course <laughs> that, that just sounds perfect and so I of course was throwing a tantrum so I was like I just want to hang out and I want toys <laughs> and somehow I, th I don't know if it was Ma. I think it might have been Ma. Ma was just like, all right, fine. You can have this. And she just had like some Star Wars gift. Like, <gasps> yeah. Wait, the, the, <laughs> like, the figurines that were like, they were like Barbie no, no, size, no, 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 but we were, that one. or no, it wasn't no. that. Was no, she was, had like a, a reserve I do, I do of them? Those. Yeah. But she had a reserve of toys. See, the, the other thing was, is we weren't allowed to play with those. I was allowed to like open this and play with it. Yeah, but and I remember yeah, she had like the 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 Star Wars toys that you go and buy that were this the figurines, yeah, ones, yeah. right? She had a reserve of those in her closet that she would just whip out when she when she well, wanted damn, to I like. I got played. No, you don't remember that. I got played. She had some in her closet. Excuse me, in her I also, closet. I remember her having a lot that were like supposed to be the untouched ones, which I was like, that's weird that mob was like nerd shit. This stuff's going to yeah. be worth something someday. We got played. Is that your cat? Yeah, that's Sam. Sam cat. Sound like a monkey. <laughs> nah, he's been acting up all morning. All morning, every morning. All morning. That's always how it goes. Well, wait, so she gave you the toy? She gave me a toy to play you. with, so I would, yeah, so I'd calm down, and I'd shut up. That is the classic <laughs> difference between the oldest child and the youngest child in the treatment. For me, it would have been like, stop complaining, or you're going to get a spanking, like, and you're going to go to your room, and you're going to be grounded. With you, it was, okay, if you just shut up, I'll give you a toy and just shut up and go over there and don't tell anyone about this. See, the reason why though is because they learned that like that works better and it shuts them up faster because then once you yeah, get spanking, then you're then they're going to cry and it's just a whole mess. It is rude. Oh yeah, it is, but. So that's not an embarrassing story. That's a come up, man. That's a fucking come up. What is this? <laughs> you should have stories about how you were you know about how I was an, I'll say okay I'll do another one then <laughs> yeah. so the the classic I'm in the grocery store with ma 
Mm-hmm. And I'm misbehaving. I'm trying to throw all the things in there. Um, and when mom finally put her foot down, I was like, no, we're not doing this. We're not doing that. I was an evil genius child in today's day and age. She would have been in a lot more trouble. Uh, but, you know, this was back in the day. Yeah. People still didn't care that much. Um, it was okay I, to spank your kids in I the basically, 90s. I think she was getting ready to spank me. And like we were near the checkout line. Mm-hmm. Thankfully, we weren't at dad's store because I don't think I would have acted up if we were at dad's store. Mm-mm. But the, the store we were at, we're like near the checkout lines. And the moment she's about to spank me, I just go, you're a bad mama. You're a mean mama. <laughs> that was your go-to. <laughs> everyone turns around and looks. Today's day and age, ooh. That'd be really, they'd be oh, like, no, oh my they, God. People would be you like, would hit your child. People would be like, yeah. Social services? Mm hmm. We got a white bitch beating her kid over here. She <laughs> definitely <laughs> looks like she's been using meth. Yeah. Definitely <laughs> not wealthy. Definitely. Definitely meth. Yeah. It's, it's drugs. Definitely mm-hmm. drugs. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> And uh, but you know, like like we said, this was back in the '90s, so I got my ass beat, beat red. Even then, like it, they weren't that. They, she wasn't that bad. Like she had, no. Her... she had the wooden spoon, Ooh. and then the balsa wood, the ping pong paddle that had like the little rubber band, like the balsa wood. It was like this thin, yeah. and it it just looked big. Like, well, honestly, am I, I am like... I making excuses for someone that beat me? Sorry, mom, you didn't Absolutely. beat us. <laughs> well, I mean, honestly, like the thinner, no, I, like I feel like the thinner it is, the more it's gonna hurt. Where it's like a giant block of wood. Like if you're knocking someone over the head, yeah, sure, bigger's better. But if you want that quick but sting, but there were no holes in it, so it, you couldn't have gotten that much. Like, whoosh. like I don't know. I just feel like it was like a good, like, like a solid, like pop. Like I never had any marks from it. I could sit like it's. She would give you like oh, one you good whap. Well, from that you never had any marks. No. <laughs> Not from that. You want to tell your Did story you? that you learned in kindergarten? Well, no. So, was that mom or dad? I can't remember. It was dad. Yeah, there was a kid in kindergarten that told me. He goes, "Hey." you want to know how to get your parents to stop spanking you? And I was like, hell yes, I do. Cause I've been diagnosed as an adult with ADD and ADHD. They didn't know what was wrong with me back then. They just knew I got my card pulled for talking all the time. And so I was like, please tell me how I can get my parents to stop spanking me. Because when I was a kid, if I came home with my card pulled, they would know because at the end of the day, you all sat like this and you waited and the teacher who didn't like me and it's okay because I didn't like you either goes walking around and if you had your card pulled, you didn't get a stamp on your hand. So you sit there waiting and you're like, oh, please let her forget. Please let her forget that I like. Even though it's very obvious because it's displayed on the wall. She wouldn't. If I was smart, I should have just stamped my hand. I should have just carried stamps. I feel like just flipped your card back over. Or that. I mean, I don't know. Like she, so she, I know if I didn't have a stamp when I got home, I got a spanking. I rarely got spankings from dad because at one point, the one time he left like a little hand mark, like he told mom, he's like, I'm never. I can't do that. I can't. So the the reason why is because of this story. Yeah. So anyway, so this kid tells me when your parents spank you, tell them that it doesn't hurt. And I was like, oh, and that works. He's like, yeah, you tell them it doesn't hurt. And then they got to figure out another way to punish you. And I'm like, hmm. Not thinking about like, oh, then they're going to have to figure out another way to punish you. That part just went out the window. And so I was like, all right, all right. So, you know, the next time I got my card pulled, I got home and dad's like, all right, you didn't um, get your hand stamped. What, What happened? I don't know. I don't know. I didn't know why I was getting my card pulled. I was talking when I wasn't supposed to. Classic. (laughs) Like, I have things to say. Still does it. (laughs) He's like, okay. He's like, all right, you know the drill. So I got a spanking. 
And I, I was like, all right, here it comes. That didn't hurt. And he was like, oh, really? And I was like, yeah, it did it. And he's like, all right. So I got another one. And I was like, that didn't hurt. And he's like, uh, are you sure? Yeah, that didn't hurt. And he's like, okay. So I got one more and I was crying. I was like, yeah, it hurt. And I was done after that. <laughs> and yeah, I think that was the time that like, like it was just like a pop on the butt, but I think he like left like a little hand mark and he told mom, he was like, I can't, do, I'm not doing that. I can't do that. Like, I'm a, I feel like a horrible parent. Like I, but I can't imagine kids push parents buttons. Like, oh yeah. so much it has to take a parent so much to like reserve themselves and not be like you little don't make me flex on you i don't know like how i would let i mean you know yeah i like it doesn't take much to like control yourself like i like i said we were not beat as children we got spankings (laughs) they were warranted Oh yeah. I mean, Always. we usually deserved it. And you know what? For me, I'm just going to say it kept me in line. Cause if we were in the grocery store fighting or messing around and mom was like, do you want, do you want to get a spanking when you got, get home? I just remember being like, fuck no. And I would usually correct my attitude at that point. Sometimes usually. I would forget, <laughs> but you know, the, I think one of the last times that I got a spanking, I remember dad, like, <laughs> dad's like, all right. He goes, you know what you did? And I'm just like, oh, man. And I just like, he just, whap. And nothing. And he's like. <laughs> oh, you were quiet. <laughs> I was quiet. And he's just like, Do you have a pillow in your pants? <laughs> I was just like, no. <laughs> I was like, it just didn't hurt. Oh my god. And I think he might have gotten a flashback to you and he's just like All right. This isn't for me. <laughs> he's like, "All right, fine. But next time you do, he goes, there's going to be a different punishment." I was oh like, shit. Okay. <laughs> and I was like, "Oh my god, did are his spanks not effective on me anymore?" Yeah. I was like, no. "So strong." Well, you get to a certain age and you're like, "I think that that the worst part of it like at least for us was like the buildup. It was the buildup of like- Oh, it's always the buildup. It was like the buildup of getting a shot almost until you realize that it that the it's not that bad when it happens. It's just the yeah. buildup of like, oh it's no, you know it's, it's coming. coming and yeah. it's gonna, oh no. Cause it's like this big, scary thing. But I mean, we're lucky. Like mom, I think she said at her school growing up, they had the um the principal had a paddle which honestly what grown adult is like okay with spaking other people's kids like that is do i mean thank thank goodness we didn't go to catholic school like i've heard some really horrible stories and i know i mean i don't know i would hope that not all of them are like that hit them both and then will will was grabbed like by the ear and he was thrown by a priest down like a a flight of stairs yeah they don't like as a kid i was like all they got to do is just be like what the that is i mean like i like i said i would hope that not all of them are like that but probably all like that when you got to be abstinent you get ornery people oh I did this all that pent up. I don't even. Yep. Oh, I don't know. But I know like dad dad got the belt and so he would scare oh, us. Got, we never got the belt. Got he the would belt. scare us. He You got the belt when? Oh, I got the belt. I don't what remember did, how old I was, but yeah, no, there was one time where like I What did, did you not, do? I don't remember. You got the belt? Oh, hell yeah, I got the belt. <laughs> no from yeah. dad yeah because it was one of the times yeah he would he did it he he was like hey cut it out and he did the little snap snap 
Yeah, because he would he would walk down the hallway and he'd snap it, and you and I just remember being just, like, "Oh fuck, I don't want to find your out." Your butthole would just tighten out. up. No, ew. <laughs> yeah, no one. I I don't know what what I was doing that day, but I just mm. I would not stop, and then whap. You were you were a pretty ornery kid, though. Do you know why? Like now that we're Look adults, let's talk about it. Why were you so mean and ornery? I don't know. <laughs> like not to put you on the spot, but you were a force to be. Well, mom was saying the other day, she, she was like, Dylan was like, she's talking about how you and I, like I, I would sleep for like one hour and that was it. And I had colic as a baby. So I was like always crying. Mm. So I was really hard to deal with. And then when she had you, she said he would sleep through the night after the first month, he was sleeping through the night this kid would take three to four hour naps. She's like, I could get Hell stuff yeah. done. She's like, he was like, she goes, I had to keep checking to make sure he was breathing. I was like, what is this? Because you, you, Angela, you would only sleep for an hour. She's like, and if I didn't get everything done in an hour, like I was just screwed. And, and she's like, but Dylan was just so good at sleeping and made everything so Still easy. Am. And then he turned about two or three and he was in his terrible twos from the age of two to the age of about five or six yeah, you throw you throw, <laughs> a bubble, like... you throw a bubble sword in my hand i'm gonna be like hey say you're a codfish <laughs> or i'm gonna slap you on top of the head i think that it was from because that was about the age that we started going back to daycare so i think but i didn't maybe at, i didn't have any friends at daycare though well, that doesn't mean you weren't picking up on stuff from the other kids there. At, at his house? Yeah, a daycare from like... <laughs> no, no, no. There, so there, we're not... Oh my God. We have to bleep out the names. You're not supposed to share names of people, but... I only did um, first name. So there was this family. We'll call them the... The Smiths. Smiths. Nice and easy. And their son was my age and their daughter was a year older than you. And I remember getting in trouble for stuff that their son would teach me at daycare, like songs and things that I shouldn't be singing. And then That's their daughter taught you to stick your tongue out. Oh, I remember that. I got a and, lot of trouble for that all the time. And you, and one day Mr. Smith came to pick up his daughter and mom was there with you and he goes hey dylan and you'd he had really weird energy he was one of those people that like he was just overbearing and i think even as a kid you could like sense that so you would hid behind mom and he was like oh you don't want to say hi dylan and you like stuck your head out from behind her and you stuck your tongue out i was and he was like oh whoa where did he learn that where did he learn that well little did he know you learned it from his daughter <laughs> Mr. Smith. Yeah, no, I got real good at, at sticking my tongue out. You you are something else. But yeah, the things you learn growing up as kids, I mean also being remember I also remember being called Dillweed. Mm -hmm. That was my first nickname. Dillweed. Dillweed. Not a fan. It's a pretty good little name. Mom got so mad because it had the word weed in it. <laughs> Even though it's a spice <laughs> used yeah. for cooking. <laughs> Do you have any other fun, embarrassing stories in the queue or pictures that you want to share? Pictures? I don't. I don't. I don't have pictures. At least not not that are embarrassing. Like, if it's going to be embarrassing, I actively avoid having my picture taken for the most part. Yeah. Well then. Okay. Well, are you ready for, sorry, I got distracted for a moment. Mom's texting me. She just got her, she's setting up her Peloton account. Oh, you guys are going to go for so a ride excited. later? excited. It's going to be so fun. Well, she doesn't have the Peloton yet. It takes like a couple months oh. to get, but this is not sponsored by anyone, obviously. But let me just say, sorry, side note. If you're thinking about getting a Peloton, do it. It's the best investment i've ever made 
if you enjoy spin class, it's if so much fun. If you enjoy spin classes, it's so much fun because there's just like thousands of videos and there's all kinds of instructors. So you have a good range of music to listen to. But like, I just started following this girl named Jess King and she plays a bunch of like EDM and stuff. And she has this thing called the Jess King experience. And she has a DJ, like a, a DJ there in the studio. And she dresses in like, almost like just these crazy Lady Gaga outfits. Like her last one had dollar bills all over it. And she and the DJ get you like so pumped up while you're like riding on, on this like journey and there's all these lights and stuff. So I got colored lights for my room upstairs where the Peloton is that like change colors and stuff. So when I go in, I'm like, Ooh, I'm going into my little rave. It's so much fun, but mom's going to love it. She'll definitely love the EDM music. I could see mom falling in love with EDM music. That well, that and then the, I mean Cody Rigsby, he plays all of the good like pop songs from the '90s. He's like I think just a few years older than me, so it's all Britney, Backstreet Boys, Insync, TLC, okay. Destiny's Child, and he's always like, I think I told you that one of the things he said because he always like says all these things. I'm like, oh my god, I forgot about that. He's like, did you have the friend? who had the you know we all had one the friend that had the refrigerator in their garage that was your rich friend and what did they have in there they had all the good shit out there they had the otter pops they had the freaking bagel bites like that was where all the sodas that's where all the good shit was kept he's like and those were the friends that you wanted to keep because i got one fridge in my house and it's like not stocked with all of this great stuff. I'm not even allowed to have soda. He's like, so when I'm going over to this friend's house, you know, I'm in the garage refrigerator all day. I was like, yeah, we had friends. I was talking to uh, Jennifer and I was like, I, I told her about Whoa, what he said. Drop. Well, I, I think I can, Jennifer would be okay with that. I was like, yeah, I remember. I was like, he said this. I said, and you guys had two refrigerators. She's like, but we weren't rich. That's just where we kept the extra food. I was like, you had so much food that you needed two more refrigerators in your garage. Honestly, I remember one of them That's being well stocked. To do. It was stocked with just like Coca-Cola and Sprite <laughs> and cactus cooler. Ooh, cactus oh cooler. Oh my god. And they always had fruit by the foot and they always had fruit snacks. I don't remember by I don't I don't think we ever ate the fruits. I never ate the fruit snacks. We me oh, and Jared I never did. got them. Jennifer had to start hiding at them and telling me that she didn't have any because she knew when I came over, it was within the first hour I was there. I was like, mm, I'm kind of hungry. You guys got some fruit snacks? Cause like our parents limited our sugar intake. So I was like, hell yeah, I'm going to take advantage of this stuff, this shit. You know, my diet would consist of the bagel bites, which eventually evolved into pizza rolls. Mm -hmm. and coca-cola oh yeah. yeah oh my god so much that was soda. all we needed yeah we weren't allowed to have soda and we had pizza maybe like once a month or something well maybe like once every yeah three weeks yeah, or something but we should have jennifer as a guest on sometime and i found our videos from when we first got our our oh, reporters you like if you're okay with me sharing it the gay world thing <laughs> and we can share it <laughs> you want to you want to get canceled already no we were people, kids that doesn't matter as well people get canceled for less <laughs> basically well we'll, no, no, we'll don't even share. tell the story we can okay wait. we'll we can share wait. more we'll but cancel us at a later date we'll cancel us later but just to, the gist of it though is it's was that that was going into high school though wow we were really mean we shouldn't have yeah you were a kid Mm -hmm. well we were like 14 13 how old are you when you go into high school i graduated when i was 17 yeah, 7 14. minus 3 13 i was 13 are oh, you like 13 14 yeah so that's okay yeah i was like 13 oh, that's okay it's yeah. not okay angela the summer we graduated middle school we both got camcorders and we documented all kinds of stuff and we were really mean to our brothers because they were the same age. We we're always fighting. So we would spy on them and record them. And we'll share those videos. Which honestly, I'll have Jennifer come nothing, on. 
nothing that like interesting <laughs> happened really like we <laughs> jump on the we jump on the trampoline sometimes get into fights we'd play video games or we'd swim <laughs> yeah we'll have to tell those stories but you almost was it you that almost drowned or jared that, that almost me. drowned that was me they because had... you guys threw the giant fucking that thing in the thing pool was the the island yeah it was, it was like a giant island that was dangerous yeah yes it was i felt really bad about that because i could oh. not come up for air Ooh. i felt so bad i was really worried about that you was i was like that's it we need to stop these wars need to come to an end <laughs> I you guys, because yeah, you guys are just egging me on as I'm just like, <laughs> oh, that was I, I felt bad because you were really scared. <laughs> okay, we definitely need to have this whole conversation with her. We should have her and Jarrett come on. Oh man, oh, oh bring back the my old rivalry. Goodness. Okay, it's happening. I'm let me write this in my notes while we're here. Okay, you, embarrassing uh, photos go. Okay, okay. So hold on. I only I have one from the vault that I'm going to share with you today. So, okay. When I was in 10th grade, Mandy Moore was very popular. And her hair, she cut it short and it was like all the rage. And like, this is what we're looking at. Like I picked a picture probably from like teen bop or something like, look at how edgy this girl is. <laughs> like, I was like, I want to be that. Like, she is just so cool. Look at how fun her hair is. I think I used a picture like this maybe. <laughs> and I was like, I want to be this. How do I become this? So the lady that was cutting my hair, I don't even remember her name. She was someone who <laughs> cut mom's hair, probably grandma's hair, probably our aunt's hair. Like, she's like, oh, okay, yeah, I can do that. She didn't know what she was doing. I think this was the picture actually that I showed. And I was like, okay, cool. Yeah. Like, so, you know, I am you know, ready to make my big debut. She cuts my hair and I'm like, all right, all right. This is like the moment. Uh, this is my moment to fucking shine because new hair, new me, you know, going to school, new school year. And here- Were you like, in like 10th grade? I was in 10th grade. It was like, I was trying to get a boyfriend. You know what I mean? Like, and- <sighs> This did not help my case at all, at all, at all. Desktop. Oh my God. Hold on. So this happened. <laughs> she cut my hair short and wispy, but I didn't know what to do with it. You're like, I just wanted it to look cool. What do I do so, with it now? Well, she had a lot of gel in her hair. So I put gel on my hair, but instead it went down like a helmet. <laughs> and, and so then I was like, I got to fix this. I got to make it look cool. So what I ended up doing is what they call the duck butt haircut. And I don't know how I came up with this. I don't think I saw it somewhere. I don't know. Oh, you but invented the duck butt? I, I put gel in the, in the, my whole hair and I went in the back and I, and I blow dried the back of it up, like as much up as I can't could. Cause that side, that part was short. And then the top was a little longer. So the top ended up coming down and then flowing out at the ends. So it literally looked like a duck butt because it, it was a duck butt. It was so bad. It was so bad. And then a rumor went around school and my best friend was like, Hey, so-and-so asked me something today. And I told her no, but then I feel like I should ask you, like, are you a lesbian? And I was like, no, I, not that there's anything wrong with that, but I was like, no, she's like, she was just saying, cause like your hair cut. And I was like, God, like, I already feel like shit. 
about my hair. And now, you know, there's a rumor going around school. Like I'm trying to get a boyfriend and now the boys are going to think that I like girls like this sucks. <laughs> and that same year was when, cause I've always had teeth problems. Oh shit. You have braces. That's why your mouth's closed. <laughs> I had, I, my mouth is closed. Cause I had braces, but not only that, I had only lost eight baby teeth. Oh, by the time I was in my sophomore year of high school. So uh, they started pulling my teeth out. I only had these four and these four. They started pulling my teeth out. So I had four and four and these gaps and then my molars. And I looked like a horse and they called me Gumby. Why did they call you Gumby? Because I only had four teeth and then gums. Dylan, that one's not I as was, funny as the rest of it, which is literally just your. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> and look, where did my eyebrows go, girl? I don't know what you were doing. Where your eyebrows? Are those eyebrows? You're trying to get those chunk. <laughs> oh, I was so ugly. <laughs> those chola eyebrows. I was so ugly. I mean, if if there's anything to learn from this, look to all the little awkward sophomore year girls out there. There is hope. <sighs> You will not look like this forever. You will understand how to take care of yourself and you will prevail. It's going to get better. Brighter days are coming, baby. And you're a little star. And don't let anyone tell you different, no matter what your eyebrows look like. <laughs> I mean, oh my God, my life. Yeah, that was a, that was a good I one. Was I was not so expecting that until you said ugly. Mandy Moore, short haircut. I was so ugly. And then I couldn't stop laughing. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, the only thing that comes so close. Sad. Yeah, I don't think I ever really had bad haircuts. It never really happened. The only time no. the only time it ever got bad was when I shaved my, like, all my facial hair off. <gasps> that was bad. You should bring a photo, if not today, then to the next time of your, that dare that you did where you shaved your eyebrows that, really that was more of a i got paid to do it how much money did you get paid to shave your eyebrows off two hundred dollars oh yeah my god actually i should be able to find that's a way to not this. bad two hundred dollars to shave off your eyebrows but how long do they take to grow back two months give or take so a hundred dollars a month so <laughs> so for that I guess eh, that was somewhat embarrassing. All right, I'll I'll try and tell Find as I look picture. for this phone. Oh God! Actually, yeah, I'm just gonna happened? use this picture. That. All right, let me, let me send this to myself. God, I hate this photos. <laughs> All right, yeah, you want to talk about embarrassing photos? This is yes, it. Yes, show it. Is, it wasn't even me that that got this. I don't even remember this photo <laughs> being a thing. This is, I think it was my friend PB that found it. Uh -huh. Um, so what happened was, uh, when I was in college, <laughs> uh, me and my current roommate Esteban with, mm -hmm. um, two of our other friends were going to lunch. And as we're walking to lunch, Esteban's like, Hey man, my hair's getting long. Uh, I'm thinking, I'm, I'm thinking about going and getting a haircut. You want a haircut? And I was like, yeah, you know what? I should probably get a haircut. Um, at the time I actually had hair and I was like, you know what? <laughs> I was like, I know I'm going to be going bald someday. I was like, so how much would you pay me if I just shaved my head bald? And he's like, why would I pay you to shave your head bald? He goes, at that point, I'd pay you to just like shave like all your facial hair off too. And I was like, <laughs> yes. and I was like, I mean, at that point, I might as well just shave my eyebrows off too. He's like, oh, now we're talking money. <laughs> he's like, I'd pay you 25 to shave everything but the eyebrows plus an extra 25 for the eyebrows. I was like, oh. 50 bucks for everything i was like i didn't really 50. think about i didn't think about how bad that was so then i got three of my other friends to hop more in sponsors on yeah. yeah i got more sponsors they're like <laughs> oh 50 for you to have nothing on your head oh that's worth it so <laughs> did you have a job or you were just in school i was just in school oh. so yeah so that was okay. a that was pretty pretty worth it to me um my god I'm trying to figure out what, what did your teacher say when you showed up to class without like were they so like are first, you going through treatment Dylan? so first first what happened was 
Um, I told I told some people about it. I told you about it, and I told Johnny about it. Mm-hmm. And uh, bless bless her heart, Johnny's wife Courtney was like, you know what? Let's send Dylan some eyebrow pencils. <laughs> <laughs> so after it was said and done, I colored in. I wish I had a photo of that. Like I straight drew fake fake eyebrows. I look like a chola. Oh, it was so bad because the first no. time one was higher than the other because like the first one i think i think it was like this one i actually got on the right spot but yeah. then this one i did it above it <laughs> so it looked like i was constantly like this <laughs> um Perturbed. yeah so the day the day that it happens um like we're we all meet at my friend's house and like they get the they get the clippers out they get the the razor and they're like all right let's do this so we go section by section we go head like the beard hair the mustache that i had at the time mm-hmm. and as they're going through it they're like shit he doesn't look that bad we're we're not going to get our money out of this like this was this was a flop this was a yeah. failure <laughs> what have we done so they get ready to do that very first eyebrow and uh Actually, I'm going to send this to you so you can put okay. it up because I figure that'll actually be easier. Okay. Um, are you texting it or are you? Yeah, I'm texting it. So, you, I mean, you'll be able to pull it up on your computer anyway. Yeah. So you're probably going to start laughing the moment you see it because also he he <laughs> had the photo with uh, Cards Against Humanity. <laughs> and you can see how bad, like, <laughs> how like sunburnt I was because I used to walk everywhere too. So, so as they're, as like, like I said, so yeah, all my, all my hair is gone except my eyebrows. They're very much regretting this whole situation. <laughs> they shave my first eyebrow off and the whole room just loses it. Like they are losing their minds, laughing on like the floor. And I'm sitting there looking like an asshole with one <laughs> eyebrow. And I'm just like, guys, can we, can you shave the other one? <laughs> And yeah, they're just losing it. They're like, oh my God, this was worth all the money. They call the other guy that couldn't show up. They're like video, videoing him, showing him. They finally do my other eyebrow. And yeah, then I look like this. Oh Horrible. my God. It's, it it's, like it's also, it's also so funny. You can see just how well facial hair like protects you from the sun. Facial hair and hair in general. Yeah. Because you could also see kind of how it, how it slants on the side of my head there that's because that's the way that i would wear my hair i wore my hair and it would it would cover that part it's really oh, bad oh really Dylan, bad. look at you you look like you just got born what's on your shirt shaving cream they were oh. fucking, it was fucking everywhere <laughs> they also took turns or, or when they were shaving my head they had like there were three different dudes with razors <laughs> just, just going over my head I'm surprised I didn't get ingrown hairs from that experience because that was a lot. Good eye is tearing up. Oh. Yeah, and so <laughs> what I would do is I would wear... <laughs> you look like a little turtle. I do. It's it's so bad. <laughs> and also, I mean, this is super accurate. When you go to a Halloween party, <laughs> people keep thinking your Shrek costume. It's so bad. That's the Hulk. So... <laughs> So basically every day I wore a beanie and I would purposefully bring it down. Yeah, so below, that you would look semi normal. So you couldn't you couldn't really tell that I had no eyebrows and people would just be like, "Oh dude, you shaved all your facial hair." And I'm like, "Oh yeah, you know." That's not all. Until until Esteban who's sitting across the table from me, he would just be like, "Hey bitch, I want my money's worth. Pop it off." <laughs> It was like he was the pimp and I was the hoe, and I'm just like, <laughs> oh no, Dylan. <laughs> so yeah, so uh, at the time I was in my what final project, she? which mm-hmm. was basically um, like we, yeah, it was it was like our capstone project or whatever. Um, yeah. And so we only really had like one teacher, uh-huh. and he, when he would come by, he would come by like maybe once a week, and he'd just be like, "Hey, you guys doing all right?" Okay, cool. So <laughs> when he came by that week, he comes by and I turn and I'm like, "Oh yeah, we're good." And he's like, "Oh, Dylan, you shaved uh shaved all your uh, your facial hair <laughs> off." And es- that's when Esteban goes, "Hey, bitch, pop it off." And I'm like, 
I pull it off and I'm like, yeah, we shaved some off. And he's like, oh, shit. He's like, <laughs> no, man. Yeah, he's just like, put it back on. I'll catch you guys later. <laughs> he just walks away. Oh. Also, God. so the, the other part of that deal was they were like, okay, you can either shave it now before Thanksgiving or you can shave it when you get back from Christmas, which at that time we were like that was right when we were about to graduate we graduated at the end of february so so i was like okay do i take the chance of not having a lot of like hair by the time i graduate or do i just look like shit for thanksgiving and christmas (laughs) which is what ended up happening wait because didn't you come out for christmas that year and then our aunts were like oh honey i feel like like, grandma grandma linda was like oh honey what happened yeah, they're like what happened to your they're like you're you're a little thin and i'm like yeah oh. my friends paid me money for this <laughs> i was like don't worry it'll come back Good so yeah, you- thanksgiving i was invited to uh a friend of mine at the time so the school i went to was a for-profit school where mm-hmm. like every month was um like a new set of classes yeah so every month there was a graduating class uh one of my friends he oh you sound way better i don't know if your mic changed or something oh i don't know either sorry go ahead so he um he was graduating the month of thanksgiving so like yeah. november end of november beginning of the december was his graduation date so his parents were out mm-hmm. and that was like right after we did this and he invited me and a couple other friends to have Thanksgiving with him and his parents. Mm-hmm. So we we go there and I'm I'm wearing the beanie, full rocked. And the best <laughs> part is they're like, oh yeah, nice to meet you, nice to meet you. And uh, one of my buddies is like, hey, he goes, you guys have heard about the guy that shaved all his hair for money, right? And they're like, oh yeah, we heard about him, that poor guy. And he just goes, this is him, yanks my Woo! beanie off. And I'm just like, <laughs> You're like a little like legend. And his parents are just like, oh, sweetie, I'm so sorry. I was like, it's okay. I got paid money. <laughs> it's good money. <laughs> like, you a- loved every minute of it. Oh, I loved every, minute of sp- every moment of spending it. I feel like you should have made 500, but... I, th- I, hey, I do 200 at the time was totally worth it that is a lot of money that oh, was yeah. good that was a lot of beer man i feel like like you could at this day you could put together a go fund me to do I'm never, it i'm never shaving my eyebrows again like, my, hey, my eyebrows have not they did not grow back in right i don't know yeah i get, they say I get wonky that... i get wonky hairs all the time that i have to like trim oh, trim or like pluck it's it's pretty bad and annoying <laughs> they say it yeah, you can't turn back time, they say. <laughs> That's right. To the good old days, it just doesn't happen. <laughs> oh, wait. So I have, hold on. Oops, not that. Where is it? Oh, okay. So I have something to share with you. I just have to figure out how to do the sound again. I have a, a little news story that was dun, too dun, good dun, to dun, pass dun, up. Dun, 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 dun. So Jamie Lynn Spears is blaming elon musk for the death of her cats okay you gotta you gotta listen to this i can't make this up um i know that there's such bigger things to worry about the world right now but can you hear it okay i can i'm sorry this is this Um, is her younger sister yeah so this is britney spears's younger sister jamie lynn spears she kind of looks like um it looks very uh, different wish.com version of britney spears (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> yeah, she looks way different from what I remember. Nobody's gotta let Elon Elon must know that um, the Tesla is a secret cat killer and it's a problem that we've really gotta fix. Um, we have now lost I don't even want to tell you how many cats because they don't hear the Tesla crank and unfortunate things happen and So they <laughs> don't he- the Tesla is so quiet that her cats are dying apparently because they can't hear it turn on and that's when unfortunate things happen that's it's really she... devastating and tragic for everyone involved so everyone involved the t- aka me so, 
not the cats because they're like, dead. So she's like, running over her own cats. And she's because, not even crying. She's like, look, this needs to be addressed. Well, obviously, this is probably like the day after, maybe three days, maybe three hours. I don't know. If, I, if something this is happened, I thought I'd be after. crying for a really long time. She's also talking kind of like, uh, like to the and, side. Uh, okay like she sounds like she's cats. on something to me but absolutely you know i'm not a doctor Tesla is so quiet maybe he could like make one of those noises that like bother cat or animal ears when it cranks up so that way they know something's happening and they aren't caught off guard and things don't end in a very tragic way so she she's sounds like she, yeah, she sounds she sounds like she's about to cry though like she's working up to yeah, it. I guess. I do appreciate that she's offering a solution. Maybe they can put one of those sounds that like drives animals crazy. So that, or like, why don't you go into your garage and be like, move them away, yeah. shoo them away. Why are they, why are the cats in the so, garage anyway? You know, Elon Musk. Oh, yeah, she this out. Man, she... You owe me a couple cats. <laughs> and yes, I'm fully aware that there's some user error involved in this, but I'm just saying, you know collaborate to save some cats lives <laughs> i know i know there's some user error involved but come yeah, on I, it's not my fault at the end I, of the day <laughs> the, at the end of the day like come on cats. but i heard that she like came out afterwards and was like oh like like that later she said something that like oh like well i wasn't she did like CNN a follow up or this. something. This so Tesla follow up. There was like a follow up that she did where she was like, "Oh, okay. Well, a I mean, secret, they didn't really a secret cat killer." We're okay. Hold on to clear up. Okay, where's to clear up? Are we allowed to like show things like this? Yeah, so you can show like articles and shit. Uh. I swear she had like a follow up. Oh, okay. Okay. So so it says that E reported that like ah where did it go? I think it's still loading the page in and so it oh, keeps okay. bumping you down or bumping so, you up. According to E, I guess they reported that she wrote on her Instagram story. Ah, no. <laughs> On her Instagram story, I did not run over any cats for one. Two, Tesna is Tesna. 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 Tesla, Tesla is not to be blamed and was never intended to be. Three, user error is admittedly involved. Four. But the cats weren't run over, but they're dead. I but she says I did not run over any cat. Yeah, like what the four, we always check for animals before moving a vehicle. Five, I was only making well, a suggestion about something I think would be extremely helpful. And the geniuses at Tesla Motors are the best to go. Also, who writes these articles? <laughs> Why I do know. I care? I don't know. But like, th that's what she said. But I'm like, okay, but in the video, it really I love does hashtag seem to me. Maybe you're the problem. Where did she say that? Scroll up. Oh, okay. that was on Twitter. Oh, oh, someone wrote that. Maybe you. That's maybe actually you're... that's good. That's a good. That's a better hashtag than I thought it was. I thought that was that was hers. Oh, someone else's <laughs> much better because oh, honestly, probably right. Yeah. What an odd way to come out as a, as a cat serial killer. Oh, is it, wait. What did she say? Okay, so <laughs> this is what. So who is it that says it? Is that this, her name? This is the Corvid, Black Lives Matter at Corvid says, Queen. She says, oh, Jamie Corvid Lynn Queen. Spears has run over so many cats that she's lost count and blames the car company for it. What an odd way to come out as a cat serial cat killer. <laughs> Hashtag, maybe you're the problem. You're the problem. <laughs> I had to play it for you, though, because they were talking about it on Howard Stern. And I was like, how is this a thing? Like, girl. She's coming out as a cat serial killer. <laughs> yeah. That's just. <laughs> Sometimes you have to, to subtly make your announcement to the world without actually being like, "Okay, it was me." You got to be like, "I mean, they weren't run over, but user error was involved." 
somebody did something, but I didn't do this exact action. So yeah. What are you going to do? Exactly. I would like to share this with you. I want to know what you know about this guy because I am so confused. I haven't done enough like research on this fellow. Hold on. I almost wonder if you could guess what it is before I share it. Um, how do I do? Uh, what field are we talking here? <laughs> or like huh? where, where did this come from? Um, it's from... This is it just an internet person or you'll see. I'll hold, see. Hold your horses. I'm just trying to see the best way to share it. Um, where's my zoom? Let's share the screen. La 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 because we like to share. Because okay. sharing is nice. It is I'm so about nice. to turn into a moon face again. Uh oh. Okay. Oh Jesus Christ. Time to wake up, my queen. <laughs> Come on, my queen above 18. Open them beautiful eyes. <laughs> there yeah. you go. You are so beautiful. Who is oh, he talking to? Thank you, King. I just love my queen above 18. Oh, thank you, King. <laughs> well, good morning. That's the King, Angela. Who All is right, the King? Friend. What do you mean? Go down and put your breakfast This is the on. King. Oh, I'll he's going to make breakfast. Nice hot cup of coffee. Oh. He sounds really nice. I'll shower and I'll meet right? you in the kitchen. Oh, All right. I Coffee love and you too, my queen above 18. Oh, yeah, I know, King. I will see you in a little bit. Well, that's nice. Yes, you look beautiful. Oh, thank oh. you. All right, I'll talk to you in a little bit. I did my mustache a little bit, you know, no big deal. He seems so nice. <laughs> Who is this man? That's the king. Now, is he a creep or do we like him? <laughs> he sounds it's... so nice. It's like 50 50. Is he trying to find women this way? So he's like, showing oh, he's them found how... women. He's found oh. women. Oh, yes. What? So his original videos, he was like, he was a lot more forward. He wasn't just like beat around the bush, like, good morning, my queen above 18. <laughs> I made you some breakfast. Come on he's down like and get being it. really sweet now. I just got out of the shower. You're looking beautiful. Like originally it was just like, hey, those are some pretty nice tits. <laughs> He's a truck driver. Like so he has a character arc, is what you're saying. Yeah, basically. So also if you hear him, he says Queens above 18. So originally he was just like, like, hey Queens, thanks for for sending all your booby pics and all that. Like, keep keep them coming. You know, I really appreciate it. You're all really beautiful, obviously. He got probably got someone that ended up being underage because everyone can use fucking TikTok. Not yeah. That, not that hard. Oh, no. And that's when he's just like, oh, yo, we got to cut that shit out. Like, nah. Well, good, good. And then so that's he when was he's like, just like, okay. So, so that's when he was like, this is for my queens above 18. <laughs> that's right. Above 18. If you're 18, you're not allowed. He's very, and he's very above 18 that. gotta be above 18. i like that i like yeah. that so he went one further he's not he just trying to further. live on the That's cusp right. yeah no. i respect he that yeah but yeah no he's he's all about that he, but yeah he strayed from his original message like there was there was the holy bible of show me your boobs and now he's the just holy. like the holy bible of show me your boobs and what now is that? he's just he over says here. that no, but oh, know, that's, that's, that's basically <laughs> that's that's the yeah, that's what I'll, so there's the you know, there's the holy bible of show me your boobs and then there's the Torah of butts. Like you got to pick and choose. Oh my word. Some people read a little bit from both. <laughs> you know, a little new, a little old. You take your pick. But that's just how it goes. Uh and so yeah, he's he's strayed from the good word and he's now just on the the creepy like you're looking real beautiful. You sound so nice. Yeah, I made you He's a not sandwich. My type, but, oh. Yeah, extra mayo, just the way you like. Mm hmm. Mm mm. You look beautiful today, my queen. Ew. Like, it's just creepy, and he goes on for too long. He just keeps going, and it's like, I get it. I'm beautiful. You made me a sandwich. I get it. I'm beautiful. Like, that's, we can end it there. Like, cool. Thanks for the sandwich, bro. 
<laughs> that's that's all you need. That's all you need. Damn. Yeah. Well, okay, cool. I just needed you to educate me on who this man was because Ooh. I was like, yeah, he's he has his own shirts and sweaters and shit. Oh, do you want one? No, no, bad. I do not. No, I do not. They're so I cool though. They got like a big not. smiley. <laughs> they got a big smiley face on them. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you haven't seen Christina P wear wear her her sweater? She got. Oh, she has. Doesn't he want to take queen. Christina P? Tom Segura's wife, right? Yeah. He wants to take her on a date. Yeah, he wants to take her on a date. Apparent. So from one of the last episodes that we've seen. Yeah. Uh, she finally agreed to it, but she's like, "But you gotta stop. You gotta stop fucking talking the whole time." Because yeah, you know the rest of the squad over over at your mom's house, like they've they've taken they've taken some stuff for the team. Tom Which tried, let's let wait Tom, let's clarify. Tom got some dunks. Wait, can we clarify really quick? We're talking about your mom's house podcast. Yes, with, with Tom comedians. Segura and Christina Pajitsky. Oh, yeah, I couldn't say that. I'm glad you said it. I attempted it. I probably got it wrong. <laughs> but hey, you know, Christina P, the main mom. If you haven't seen it, you should check it out. Yeah. Are you a mommy? Yeah. Oh. Of course I'm a mommy. Look at me. So he, he, he wants to take her out on a date. And she yeah. said she would if he wouldn't talk so much basically she finally she finally caved and she was like fuck fine because <laughs> yeah like they're one of their producers in the dove like that that poor dude he's he's gotten a lot of shit done to him yeah tom tried to tom tom attempted that dunk and he <laughs> fucking hurt himself that was great <laughs> he's like a bionic man right like oh he's he's almost he's he's recovered very nicely now that yeah. injury i i uh, yeah, I I watched the video for like a second and I couldn't watch it. Like I'm not the way lie. he fell, I, I oh my god! I the way thought he it was going to be just... worse. I'm glad for him that it wasn't. But that's good. <laughs> when it happened, I was just like, oh, ooh, yeah. Now that looked like it hurt, and that was about it. Well, like I was, what he I was he expecting messed up more his like arm a really bad. Oh. So he, yeah, he he tore his patellar tendon oh, when he tried to when he tried to leap. So that basically oh. just like. Fu like that just fucked his leg which made him slip since he wasn't actually jumping anymore mm -hmm. and then his arm went to go his arms went to go break his fall because it's just a natural reaction when you're falling and yeah his arm just got too far behind him he uh -huh. landed on it and then he snapped the bone up here like just mm -hmm. clean clean break or I don't know if it was a clean break or not but yeah he just broke the shit out of that uh, and yeah Oh, it was bad. And didn't he mess up his leg too? His well, leg. That's, that's what happened. Too, his right? leg. His leg. He tore his patellar tendon. Oh, I don't know where any of these things are. So it's like right. It's basically the muscle that um is like. It's like around your kneecap, and it basically connects to the lower, like your, your lower leg. Oh, okay. So it's basically what holds that all together. Oh, so what happened was when that snapped. Like instead of his leg being nice and like connected, yeah. it just snapped, and then his legs just like Rrr. no. Yeah. Oh, he's like a mobile. Oh. oh, look, my lighting fixed itself. Ooh, Go yeah, figure. perfect timing. Your eyes yeah, look right so bright right now. So bright and blue and beautiful. <laughs> well, <clears throat> do you have? Anything yeah, no. So else she finally to had to. She finally had to take one for the team and do the date. Although she did just. <laughs> Wait, did uh, did they record the date? I don't know if they've. I don't think they've they've had it yet. Oh, okay. Well, oops. yeah. If you ask me, she's happy. not really looking forward to it, which oh, is perfect ahead. because that's what I want to see. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch! Oh, now you're red again. Ugh. <sighs> well. It's my mood. It just changes. <laughs> Yeah, your yeah. your skin color changes with your mood. <laughs> That's right. Well, do you have anything else that you want to share? I'm getting so choppy. Am I looking choppy to you? Yeah, a little choppy. What is going on? I don't know. For for you know the few people that are watching, if you have any suggestions or if you want to hear any stories or anything, please tell us in the comments below. Or don't, if... don't forget. 
if you know us and you're watching and you can think of a good story that involves us with you and you would like us to share that story, let us know. Yeah. Yeah. Also, maybe remind us a little bit, but, you know, just in case we forgot. Come on. You know, it's a good one. Come on and share your stories. I'll have a real good one for next week. Okay, good. I like that. It's going to be the time the time Johnny and I went to the beach. Well, one of the times we went to the beach, what happened on our way back? Well, perfect. I like the sound of it. Yeah. All right. Well, good. Well, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so that you know when we make our uploads. We're trying to do them once a week. It'll either go up on Saturday or Sunday, most likely Sunday. And maybe Monday. Yeah. Thanks for watching or listening to Relatable with uh, the Rodardis. I just remember that's what this is called. And and I'm Dylan. We're relatable. (laughs) See, we forget shit. Yeah. Yeah. We're humans, just like you. (laughs) All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Let's wrap it up. Bye. Bye.